Hello and good day to you all. Couscous, and this is not just a simple dish, it comes right from the Berber Kingdom some 2200 years ago. It is quite a job to do, let's not waste our time, and it all starts the day before. The day before, we're gonna let our chickpeas soak in cold water. And that's at least for 12 hours at the minimum. Same thing for the dried raisins. We're gonna add a cinnamon stick, cold water, and we're gonna let them soak for the same time as the chickpeas. We're gonna take about 100 grams of honey, and we're gonna add about eight to 10 centiliters of olive oil or any other vegetable oil. Mix it up well. Same thing for the lamb shoulder. We're gonna let them marinate overnight. Take some coarse sea salt and we're just gonna rub our lamb shoulder with the sea salt and then we're gonna give it a good rub with the honey and the oil. Once it's all nicely coated with the honey, we're gonna wrap it up and keep it in the fridge overnight. So here we got two pieces of uh, the lower ribs of the lamb. We're gonna add some salt, a good pepper mill, and we're going to use some red Rassel Hanout. And we're going to wrap these up too. And it's all going to stay overnight in the fridge. And we're ready to start our couscous tomorrow. The lamb shoulder that has been marinated all night long. Preheat your oven up to 150 degrees Celsius. That's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a go for six hours of low and slow cooking. We got our pieces of a lower uh, rib. We're gonna cut the bones out. And we're gonna cut the meat into nice chunks. Of course, we're gonna use our bones for the stock. I'm using about 10 liters of water in my steamer. We're gonna put some of our celery leaves in with the bones. We're gonna use some bay leaves. And I'm going to use a few sprigs of thyme, one and a half a tablespoon of yellow Rashel Arnout and about a little tablespoon of red Rashel Arnout. And we're going to add a good tablespoon of course sea salt, of course you can use any salt you like. And we're also going to add our beef in there. This is going to cook low and slow for two and a half hours to start with. And what I almost forgot is to put one onion in the stock as well, four to five cloves and into the stock and I'm also going to cut some tomatoes just cut them in four parts and in the pot as well if at a certain moment you get some foam on there just skim it up the chickpeas into clean water they're going to cook for one and a half an hour after one and a half an hour we're going to drain our chickpeas and we're going to let them rest for a while so we're going to take some of the greens from the carrots. We're going to add these to the top of the steam pot. We're going to prepare our couscous. We're going to add a little bit of oil. I'm using half sunflower oil, half olive oil, two tablespoons each. And we're going to work this through the semolina, through the couscous. We're going to add half a liter of cold water and again we're going to mix this and this needs to be absorbed completely. The couscous on the top. We're going to add some aluminum foil on the top of our cooking pot. We're going to put our couscous on there. The aluminum foil is going to seal up the steamer. We're going to put the lid on and this is going to steam for the first time for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes we're going to work the couscous again. So it's a little bit too hot to uh, work it with the hands. 
So after this starts to cool down, we're going to rub this again in between our hands to loosen the grains and it's going to give us a very nice light couscous. Back in the steam pot, place it back on the stock and we're going to steam this for another 15 minutes and here we go for the second time. And to prepare the couscous for the third time of steaming, we're going to add some uh, rancid socket butter. It's called smen. If you can't find this, you can use ghee or a normal butter. We're going to add four tablespoons. Mmm, that smells so good. This needs to steam a third time, 15 minutes, but we're not going to do it now. But we're going to do that just before serving, half an hour maybe before. So our beef is really nice and tender, so we're going to take it out. We're also going to discard the rest of our seasoning, the bones, the herbs. We're going to have a little taste of our stock. I'm going to add half a tablespoon of salt and I'm also going to add half a tablespoon of Rasheel Anut and we're going to add our chicken drumsticks to the stock get it back to the boiling point and let it simmer for about half an hour so here we got our lamb ribs that have marinated all night too uh, we're going to put them above the lamb shoulder in the oven same, always the same temperature, 150 degrees and we're going to leave it for one and a half an hour and at the very end we're going to give it a good roast in a hotter oven. So our lamb roast looks fantastic. Turn around. It's got another half an hour to go. So we're also going to continue uh, preparing our chickpeas. Put some stock in there. Two to three tablespoons of honey. And we're going to let the chickpeas simmer for another 40 to 50 minutes. We're going to slice some red onions. Take a frying pan with some vegetable oil, maximum heat. Pour the red onions in there. Add a good pinch of salt. When the onions become translucent, add the raisins with the juices. And we're going to let them caramelize slowly. Some people add a little bit of honey at the end, but I think the raisins are sweet enough for me. So after 30 to 40 minutes, our drumsticks are cooked as well. Clean all your vegetables well, wash them on the cold water of course. We're going to clean our carrots. The pumpkin. The nice chunks like that. The turnips. Just going to cut them into four parts. Another different type of turnip. I'm going to make some nice slices. We're going to start cooking the vegetables. And we're going to start with those who have the most of the cooking time. Like the pumpkin, the turnips, the carrots of course. Same thing, we're going to cut the zucchinis as well. We're going to keep the skin of course. We're going to make a nice size of cuts. There we go. The eggplant. Just in four parts. Well, of course you can use uh, any cut you like. Huh? Bell peppers. There are celery sticks. We're going to put these white chilies with the lamb's breast and they're going to roast a little bit. And we're going to put our oven on, the, on 180 degrees, another 15 minutes. So they're all nicely cooked. We want to take them out. We're going to put our aluminum foil back on again. Add the rest of the vegetables, the celery, bell peppers. Eggplants, zucchinis, 
and we're going to put our couscous back on there to steam it for the last time and this is going to take 15 to 20 minutes and we got our lamp roast that is ready as well it's completely caramelized with the honey And here we go for the last time with our couscous, my friends. The vegetables are good too. We're all going to take them out. And now you can taste your stock to do a final adjustment. If it needs any more salt or anything, for me this is perfect. Once I really work my couscous again, and it's very nice and airy, I'm going to put it up to the middle as much as possible I'm gonna add little by little the vegetables I'm gonna do this all around adding some beef as well so here we got our couscous royale it's one of my favorite dishes of uh, North Africa and uh, I think it worked out uh, quite fine I hope you enjoyed the recipe, if you want to support my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell, and all that's left to say my dear friends, bon appetit and see you back soon.